Welcome back to another Taekwondo lesson and in this video I'll show you how to perform a flat fingertip thrust. The flat fingertip thrust is probably the first thrusting technique you learn as a beginner and it's different to strikes and punches. A strike is used to smash the target to break bone or muscle around the vital spot. And a punch is used to create internal damage. That's why we use a very sharp twisting action. But a thrust is used to cut through to a vital spot. And it's usually a soft target, for example, the eyes, windpipe, solar plexus, epigastrium, for example. And we used sharp tools. That's why the fingertips and the point of the elbow are often used for thrusting techniques. I'll be showing you how to perform a high thrust with a flat fingertip, although middle and low fingertip thrust can also be used. To form the fingertip, it's very similar to a knife hand. You squeeze the fingers together and pull the thumb back, leaving a gap here. The difference is that you bend the middle finger slightly more so that the first three fingers line up and that's what you're going to make contact with. A flat fingertip is when the palm is facing down, as opposed to a straight fingertip where the palm faces to the side and an upset fingertip where the palm faces up. So we'll do it with the palm facing down. The thrusting action is very similar to that of a punch in that you twist the arm as you extend it. But you don't have to draw the hand from the hip as you do with a punch. You can start with the hand further forward and slightly up. Otherwise it's similar. And you don't have to put too much emphasis on the twist as you do with a punch. The important thing with the thrust is that forward thrusting action rather than the twist. So practice this a few times and then introduce the reaction movement, pulling the fist of the opposite hand to the hip. And then practice on both sides. Like that. And now you're ready to practice it in walking stance. So adopt a walking stance and you start off by relaxing the body, bending the knees slightly, dropping the body and bringing your arms into a neutral position. Come forward a bit onto your front leg to load the weight onto that leg because that's going to control the upward movement at the next stage. You raise the body and extend the reaction arm a bit more and bring the thrusting hand back slightly, but not all the way back to the hip, as I mentioned earlier. And then drop sharply onto the heel of the back foot as you execute the technique, locking the back leg. So practice this as a smooth motion, like that. And you could try alternating. Notice that your body moves in a slight ellipse. So you bring the weight forward and back. That's how you utilize the sine wave motion. But don't come forward too much. Just enough to use that front leg to raise the body. And usually this technique is done as a front thrust. So your body must be full facing and the fingertips on the solar plexus line, which is the center line. And if you're doing a high thrust, the fingertips will be at eye level. So now you're ready to practice it as a spot technique going from parallel stance to walking stance. So go back to a parallel stance. Then you load the weight onto your balancing leg as you relax and go into a neutral position. Your body's dropping at this stage. And then you move forward, raising the body and then drop sharply as you adopt your stance and execute the technique. So it's just like all the other techniques we've done so far using the sine wave motion relax up down okay and your arms go into neutral prepare and then execute the technique so remember to use breath control reaction movement the thrusting technique with your stance and fix your gaze at the target at the same time and practice on both sides so we're doing an obverse thrust at this stage So now you're ready to practice 10 flat fingertip thrusts, do them as high thrusts, alternate on each side. Hana. 
둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. So that's it for flat fingertip thrust. Quite simple really. Probably the hardest thing is to make the hand rigid and form the hand properly at the end of the technique. So practice many times to get this right. And also practice to get more speed in the technique. So up to now, in all the Taekwondo lesson videos, we've done the techniques as spot techniques, stepping forward into the stance and then returning to the ready posture. So in the next few videos, we'll be doing it with stepping motion, continuously going forward and backwards as well as combining some of these techniques together. So I hope you join me for those videos. Until then, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. I don't care what you hit it with. It could be a punch, a strike or a thrust. Just hit it. See you next time. Bye.